Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how we can draw this piece in Autodesk Fusion 360. First of all, we will start with these two circles. So we have here the first circle, the exterior one with a diameter of 55 units and the other circle with the diameter of 30 units. Moreover, the length will be 45 units. So let's get started. We'll go through a new sketch. So create sketch, select this plan. And now let's create a center diameter circle, starting from this point. Write 55 units, press enter, and again, central circle inside of it from the same point, write 30 units. Now finish the sketch and go with the extrude command. Select just this area, drag a little bit this arrow, and now let's set those parts. So write symmetrical, and here not we'll have half length, we will have whole length. And we will write here, 45 press enter and here it is okay after that we will focus on this side so we will construct exactly this section which is located right here if you can imagine it is basically a rectangle and it will have the dimensions 14 here and on this length it will be 50 plus 21 plus 21 that means 92 units and after that we need to apply a length here of 142 units and moreover we will have here the distance between this point and this surface it will be of 58 units so let's get started let's create first of all a new sketch now select this plan exactly in the middle press front and let's create a two-point rectangle. Select this one, central rectangle, starting from this point, for example. The first dimension, it will be 14, tab, 92 units. Press enter. Now, sketch dimension between this part and this one. It will be here, 58 units. Finish the sketch. Switch it a little bit. And as you remember, we need to apply the extrude command. So drag a little bit this arrow right here, symmetric, whole length. And here, instead of 40 units, we will write 142. Okay, here it is. Now, the next step. We have here four little radiuses. So radiuses of 10. We will go back and we will apply here fillet. Select an edge, select the other part and the other two corners as well and right now 10 units okay for the next side we will focus on this part so we will create basically a line another line a line an arch and we will come back so keep it in mind good now we'll go like this create a new sketch select this plan press front and now let's start to draw through a simple line line press the mouse now until here good now let's start to apply the measurement so here you saw that we have 22 units so let's get back let's apply first of all this distance sketch dimension here 22 good it will be parallel with this one equal also now let's go here at concentric now we'll go here at equal again yes equal also this part and let's go now to coidential good let's press finish sketch right now okay as you see everything is perfectly fine and now we have here a thickness of 15 units so let's go back extrude select this plan go with the symmetric hole and write 15 units okay good for the next part we will focus on the other part here so we need also a thickness of 15 units and this dimension it will be 41 so let's create a new sketch select this plan 
middle. Let's go with, with line. Press the right here. Put a random line, it doesn't matter. Now go with coincident. And we have here a distance between this point and this point, 41. Now let's press again the line command. Okay, again the line until this point and the final line, okay. And right now we have also here 15. So press the finish sketch, extrude, symmetric, hole, and press here 15. To be the same, we will select this extrude and then we'll go here to create and we'll press mirror. At mirror, the object is already selected. Mirroring plan now, exactly half. So this plan and press OK. And now we have in the same direction. Now for the final step, we need to have here four circles. So those four circles, we need to construct one of them. Each of those, it is the same and it has the diameter 18 units. So with this center, it is on a distance of 21 compared to this line and 21 also in the other direction. So let's get started. Create a new sketch, select this plan, go at the top to be easier. And now create a circle, random, it doesn't matter, and press 18. Now, sketch dimension, select this plan, this one, okay, and right here, 21. The same thing in the other direction, select this center and the other line, and you will have here also 21. Good, finish the sketch, extrude. Select this plan, drag it down, and right here, all. Cut, OK, press OK. Now for the final step, select this hole, which is located right here, and go here at pattern, rectangular pattern, and let's right here. So we have one object, OK, directions now. This one, it will be the first direction and the other one, the second direction. You can see the arrows, which is located right here. Good for the first one. Here we'll have two. The distance, it will be here 100 because we have 100 from this center until the other one. And on the other side, we have 50. So we will write here 100. Okay, you saw. And for the other one, we have also two. And the distance, it will be 50. Press OK and automatically you have all four holes for one movement. For the final step, let's select the entire drawing. Right click appearance. And now let's write here, for example, blue. And let's select, for example, this one. And here it is. Our drawing now it's complete. I hope this video helped you, if you have questions don't hesitate to let them in the comments below, as always don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.